How much do people still ask you about Manchester City and that incredible day? A lot. Yeah, a lot of obviously City fans. It's probably the best time um, of their days as a supporter. Um, crazy experience, uh, crazy occasion to, to be a part of. Um, I think I've watched the game back once. Why? Yeah, I just... Martin I, Tyler watches it every day. I know, yeah. <laughs> I, I can listen to it a lot more than I can watch it. Like, knowing we come so close to not winning. Were you at fault yeah. for both of QPR goals? No, maybe one, but not both. Um, no, to be fair, yeah, I misjudged your head out and it led to equaliser. But again, I wasn't worried at that stage, thinking we've only got to score one goal. We've got players that have done that all season. And then when it went to 2-1, I was kind of like, oof, now it's, now it's serious. So to kind of... And then, what, probably four or five years after, I only realised that Ndjeko's goal was so late on as well. well. I thought that was like around the 18th minute and then we scored in the last minute, but to realise that we scored like two goals in the last 90 seconds is, is crazy. What else do people ask about the most? What comes up the most? Oof, the tweet. The people talk about that tweet. That For, for, those, for those that don't know the don't story, know. you were playing for Villa at the time? Yes, and, and we just lost. Just lost. To Liverpool and um, driving back home and uh, it went off. My phone went off in my... Jolian tweeted a picture of a very expensive and smart-looking car. Yes. And you were immediately criticised by yeah. all and sundry for being flash and thinking about the next car you were going to buy and not concentrating on your team who were looking like getting relegated. Yes. But that wasn't the full story, was it? No, at the time, there was a player um, that was due to get a car. He asked me my advice on that, having not passed his test. I advised him to get a similar looking car, but to say insurance purposes not to get that. And then that picture was just in my phone. Um, and then obviously... So you've never owned that car, never bought... No, I didn't have that car at the time. Never wanted that car? No. Uh, as I said, uh, yeah, I want the car. Oh. It's a nice car. <laughs> but yeah, that wasn't the case. And then kind of just... How much grief did you get? A lot. I think the fans still hold that against me now. And also the club kind of used it as a little bit of a way out to kind of make me the scapegoat for things going wrong, which was, again, I played my part in that, uh, hold my hands up, to, but there was a lot of components to the reason why Aston Villa went down that year. Um, but again, I kind of, I've left it on my feed for the fact that I know the truth and the, the amount of stick I've got my family received off the back of that, I, that will never be deleted. For, for, but just so it, for it forever, yeah, I would never. Again, I, I know the truth about that, so... Well, that's, that's, that's really unfortunate and Oh, yeah, and that's the kind of reason why I don't have the best relationship with Villa now, because that led to circumstances why my family couldn't go to the games. Um, and growing up as a Villa fan from Birmingham, that was the ultimate dream. It wasn't... The dream wasn't to play for England or to win the Premier League. It was to play for Aston Villa, like every kind of boyhood fan of their team. And then when it led to that, um, to take them down was devastating. But then to kind of my family who'd kind of support him, family and friends who'd support me through my whole career and not be able to go to games through stick they were receiving. I can take it like I'm used to it, but to, to kind of hear things said to my family members and kids not good. and stuff, nah. I just think as well, people like to, like to recall the bad things. Yeah. They like to revel in other people's misdemeanours, generally. Mm. Um, never mind the good things, you know, there's plenty of good things you did in your career. You won't be reminded of them times. that often. Oh, no. but one or two things that you regret and maybe happened. Yeah, that was the and, worst. And, and they're quick to career, remind you of that all the time. All the other teams I played for were, were great times, promoted with Wolves, FA Cup final with Everton, but league that, titles with yeah. City. So, yeah. Sensibly and understandably and yeah. sensitively rather, you've never named the player. Please don't tell me he ignored your advice and bought the car anyway. He, he, he took my advice, fair good. play to him, he kind of bought fair a similar-looking car for a, a lesser engine size. <laughs> Some good came out of asking. Yeah.